and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Tuesday the 14th of February. The local media headlines today. Police in Newquay won't have been amused to hear that a bunch of extreme right-wingers are calling for an anti-immigrant demonstration outside the hotel which is being used to house asylum seekers. There's already talk of a counter-demonstration with calls for legal observers. A similar demonstration near Liverpool on Friday led to violent confrontations. Health campaigners in West Cornwall say they're alarmed by news that overnight services at the Penzance Urgent Treatment Centre are likely to remain closed until at least the end of April. The centre's been closed overnight for several months in what was supposed to be only a temporary measure. An inquest has been opened into the death of a trainee at the HMS Raleigh Naval Base near Tor Point. There are no other details at the moment. Launceston's Leisure Centre is due to reopen on Thursday and police will soon be zipping about on Bodmin Moor in a new rough terrain buggy. I suppose it beats chasing the baddies on bikes. The BBC was among those to report the unexplained death of a man in Campbell. A 57-year-old man was found dead in a house on Saturday. A man in his 40s was initially arrested on suspicion of murder, but has since been released on bail. Pirate FM says a cafe in Newquay is having to close four days a week because it's so expensive to stay open. The Falmouth Packet has details of the latest excitement at the town's golf club. And finally, Cornwall Live still thinks it's going to snow. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.